Hey, Fields of Arl fans, I owe you an explanation. During the first and second round, we're kind of slow to get up to speed to the game, but we do come around, we do get a decent score in the end, and, um, you know, if you really know the game, you would notice. But if you don't know the game, this is a great way for you to learn with some people who should have learned a little more. But we do get it in the end, so enjoy the video. Uh, do you have any questions? Um, is it all coming back to you, like Celine Dion? Not really. I mean, kind of. We're in summer right now, right? Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, June, yeah. technically. We're in June preparations. We skip the preparations. All right, Whiskey Nick, see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm trying to remember what to do here. Well, it's my turn first, so I get to pick oh, the worker. Oh, great. And send the worker out. <laughs> That's it. That's right. I and then you're going to send a worker out. Then I'm going to yeah, send one. It's a worker placement. Let's do it. Yeah. So we want to go for summer, but one person can choose winter. It's just if you do that, you're for sure not going to be the first player next time. Yeah. I Otherwise, if nobody does, then you're going to get this. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Jesse J, it's 120 <laughs> where AM where he lives. Oh, gee. I'm sad about That's... that already. I mean, I was up till 4... Yeah. All so, right, well, Boiler, tell me my first The beer. thing about the um, uh, workbenches, this is important. They say to mention this to people. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that being important. This relates to a lot of other things. <laughs> um, I had to get up for this. Kind of. So, um... Hmm? Hmm. What? Yeah. I don't know why it said to do that, but this is how you get more workbenches. I guess that's important in some kind of way. Yeah, the workbenches. <laughs> Melissa sings. Thank you, eight Melissa months in a row. for that eight month subscription. We heart you. Yeah. Hello! Excalibur! 89. Excalibur. Thanks for that follow! We heart you. In 89, I was. 7. And I was. older than that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Alright. Also, you know, there's a way to get points if you increase these yeah. things. Yeah, I do remember that. Ooh, ouch. You know where I'm going to go? I'm going to go to the... How do I increase the number of spades I have? That would be... So yeah, we're trying to get this game to come back to us, aren't we? <laughs> what a great time to do that. I tried to get you to play with me last night, and you said, no! <laughs> well, there were other things. Get points. That's a good strategy. How do I get more, um, what did I want? Spades. Spades. Get all the points. Seems like a good idea. There's actually a thing back here, and it tells you how to get stuff somewhere in here. To be fair, there's a lot of stuff here on the table. There's a lot. And we start off with... These are our stuff we start okay. with. Or the what? fisherman gets you a sheep and your fish traps go up. The grocer gets you one of those things, one of those things, and one of those things. The wool weaver lets you get stuff per loom. It converts. But you need a vehicle to put it in. Oh, no, you don't. Not, a wet, not right away. Mm -hmm. The colonist lets you flip one of these over and get an animal. The peat cutter counts up your spades and removes peat per spade you have. The dike builder lets you get an animal per shovel pair. I mean, this is your shovel. You get These to, are your shovels. Yeah, your here's shovel your pairs. spades and here's your shovel pairs. Okay, so there's your number. 
Right now we have three spades. Yeah. Clay worker gives you more clay. Farmer gives you a plow. <laughs> Forester <laughs> gives you a forest or a building. The woodcutter gives you wood. The master gives you... I don't understand what that means. The workbench? All right, now we have two workbenches. Every single space in here is explained in the book in extreme detail. Right. Where's the master? Oh, they're not in order. That's helpful. Per workbench you have, you may move one of your tool indicators on the game board one space to the right. Right. Oh, right. yeah. You cannot move a tool indicator more than once. You may only move different ones. The costs are depicted on the game board to move them. Yeah, so having workbenches whenever you finally... Um... That's what I want to do. I'm going to go to the master. I have two workbenches right now, so I will increase uh, my number of spades, which is going to cost me a wood. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to increase two clay to increase my number of workbenches. Uh -huh. That's it for me. Uh -huh. One turn down out of 36. One turn down. Nine times four, 36. Once we do 36 actions, the game's over. Easy. 35 to go. Easy peasy. Oh, each of us does 36. So. <laughs> so we have some things to do. That is a good first move. Is it? Well, you took up the spot that probably was pretty easy to cover. So these are our starting goods, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got three peat, four clay, and four wood. If you'd like to turn those wood into bricks or the clay into... Oh, sorry, the clay turns into bricks and the wood turns into timber. Yeah. You're going to have to do something to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, up there. Oh, the clay worker gets the clay. Where's the other? Oh, down there. The uh, builder's merchant? No, that's spending it. Where is it? I don't know if this will make it to YouTube. <laughs> Why? <laughs> While we're figuring it out. Just remember, cow plus mechanism equals paper. That's true. That's always the fact. I I don't know what that means. You remember that? That's from uh, Alchemist. I... <laughs> no. Wasn't it? Alchemist. But I'm quite old, so... That's true. Wait, we don't have any... Oh, wait, we do. I know that whenever you send it off to go off to another distant land, mm -hmm. it gets changed. What gets changed? Like the wood gets changed into timber and the bricks oh. get turned changed into clay. Trickle down scoring. They they come back. Oh, was that changed. from uh, Founders? Founders of Gloomhaven. Cow plus mechanism equals paper? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was? That was Founders of Gloomhaven. Oh, okay, yeah. my bad. Oh my god, what are we doing with our lives? I did read this whole rule book. <laughs> it's just really a hard game. Yeah. Because we were supposed to practice and we didn't. But that's okay. This is us practicing. Alrighty, let's make it. There's a bunch of rules about about your vehicles and the stuff in the vehicles and how you can't use them until you unload your vehicles and stuff like that. Right. You remember all that, right? And it's all written right there. We have this little fancy overview that's gonna help us tons. So let's go work and do some stuff. I don't wanna get better at stuff. And you've already gotten better at stuff. So I can't go here because I don't own the stuff to do that yet. But I can get some wood. Where do you upgrade your stuff at? That's What kind of thing do you want to upgrade? Like any of these things. Oh, that. Builder's Merchant um, isn't quite that, is it? No. 
No? Mm mm. So, what am I looking for? The tanner turns. Oh, okay. Here's our other goods we need to think about, too. <laughs> yeah. Just do some things, and if your people starve, it's natural selection. There you go. Blood boiler, you're supposed to be helping us. <laughs> How do we convert these things into other things? How do we convert this wood into timber, etc.? I'm oh, look, for it has a, a building. Then, it has a it? gold um, arrow on it. There's four different colors of arrows in the game, and they all mean something different. Uh, where was that in here? A bakehouse for oven, a turnery. I'm just looking at all these building options, trying to remember which one was the ideal one to get. Don't forget, you're gonna have to feed your people. Okay. They don't eat that much, do they? No. All right, per plow. Okay, here we go. The brown arrows, okay, yellow arrows, indicate that you may carry out the depicted conversion at any time and any number of times. The type, This type of conversion can only be found on buildings. This one. Wait, you're talking about the brown one. Isn't that a gold? There's a bakehouse that has a like a dark brown or maybe a gold color. It's like a bronze color. I have a yellow, gray, or brown. A yellow, gray, or brown. I would say... That's yellow. Which one? The one in my hand? Yeah. Oh. That's gray. And that's brown. We don't have all the buildings out. We have the basic buildings. See, here's a gray one right here. Here's a brown one right here. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna start doing stuff, I guess, is the best way to do this. Mm -hmm. Let's start cutting away. A peat cutter. So per spade, I have three spades. I'm gonna cut away this peat. Ah, the peat. Because I know I'm gonna need that space later. Then leave it to Ronald. It's gonna, it's gonna spark for us. I know it is. Is that right? I know it. I know this to be true. I'm gonna see what Melissa did. While you think about your move, think about what she did. How do I move the dikes? Okay, I'm gonna go to the dike builder and get a moo cow. He can stand on a dike, so I'll put him right here. And then per shovel pair, I have one shovel pair. I get to move my dike up to here. So now I have more space for my stuff. Uh, just to verify, the moo cow could also just stand in one of these spaces, but I decided to put him on the dike, because he can Alos, also stand there. Who is it? Oh good, you're just in time to take Jesse's turn for him. Yay, all right, I'm gonna put this little horse thing here. No, no, you need to put the red <laughs> worker somewhere and out. Oh, yes, 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 let's see. This little, we shall call him Clyde. Looks like a Clyde. Um, what are you doing? This little dude on the thing, look, see, he's got a face. I like it, His Clyde. Name's Clyde, Clyde the worker. What shall I do? Hello! Hey, Joe! What are you hey, doing? Hey, Joe. Welcome back. <laughs> one year later. <laughs> yes. With my turn, I'll be one... One more year later. <laughs> oh, Joe never left. He's been here the whole time. I've been here. Hello, everyone. Hey, Jesse J. Hello, Joe. Hey, Blood Boiler. Oh, he's just been on the phone. Ah, I see. Oh, on the phone. Do people still do that? I'm meepling. I, I, I'm sending my own meeples. How am I magically doing that? <laughs> All right, Clyde's going to starve. He just might, because... Uh... Oh! Yay! Thank you, Thanks, Joe, Joe, for that subscription awesome, with Twitch Prime. Yes. We heart you, of course. Thanks, Joe is one of our hosts here on the channel. You can usually see him. 
seventy five percent of the time he's here. So um, what would y'all like for Clyde to do? What is a what is a good thing? What 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 does a what does Clyde need? What does he want? Seems like y'all saying he's gonna starve, so he might not need to go get food. Where's their food to be had? He Maybe. went to get some food, Jenna. Oh yeah, he Jesse's gonna starve <laughs> if he didn't get food. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so did he give you advice on what to do? He just said, sit in the chair. So I'm here, and I have no clue what's going on. I just know that they're saying Clyde is going to starve, poor little thing. So I, I feel like he needs to go somewhere where there's food. Yeah. I'm not sure. Meaning breakfast. Clyde needs to eat breakfast. Clyde is not going to starve. Just put Clyde somewhere. Okay. Uh, He's got five food. He's plenty got plenty of food. Oh, he ain't going to starve. He needs uh, maybe an animal, or no, he does, uh, does he even have all these things? What does that stall hold? What are these little boxes? What stall? The stall, three. Uh, up to like three, three animals. If you put two animals in there, they'll breed. Let's do the right. colonist then. All right, colonist it is. Clyde, go be a colonist. Do, 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 do. All right, so he gets uh, one of these little dudes, right? Take a horse and or and or. or. Mm-hmm. And Dehydrate or. a more section by flipping over one of your more tiles to show the boardwalk illustration is visible at the top of the tile. Well, then plays horse. exactly four feet from the general supply. You want both or what? Or, oh, or, oh. Or, or, oh. And or. It means oh, yeah, you can yeah, do. Flip that. Flip. Uh, so you got the little. You guys horse. repeated it. <laughs> I know what I would do. Take the game, put it in the box, and play something different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. So you want me to flip this? Yep. Okay. Flip. And then put four peat on it. Alrighty. I did the thing. Alright. There you go. There's a turn. Um. That's a crime, Jesse J. Crime against Clyde and all of his little buddies. Clyde's brother Jim eats six food. <laughs> the sheep's name is Phil. Fill the sheep. Sounds good. Would you like a fill the sheep? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sheep's name is I'm gonna is go sheep. to the warden and flip this over. And get four. Oh, Eat. Heat. Pete and Repeat were on a boat. Pete fell off. Who was left? Repeat. Pete and Repeat were on a boat. Pete fell off. Who was left? Repeat. Pete and Repeat were on a boat. Pete fell off. Who was left? An orange. Aren't you glad I didn't say repeat? Yes. <laughs> All right, so Melissa. Funny. What's next? I need a sheep. Well, I don't need a sheep. I don't have a place for a sheep. The sheep can stand in the fields or even on one of the dikes. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I will get a sheep. A sheep named Phil. All right. Where's a sheep? Hmm. Where do you go to get sheep? I don't see a sheep icon. I saw a colonist. I saw a horse. The grocer, maybe? Do you go to the grocer? This rule book is see a little bit confusing. See you later. All right, Joe. Bye. Have a Bye, good Joe. one. See also page two on the overview. This is Mr. and Mrs. Ed. Oh, here they are. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying uh, to see where where do you go to put the sheep? All right, my brain's recharged. You, I here. think you can get a sheep at the grocer or at the fisherman. Okay. Oh, this looks like a Tommy. Are you going to get a sheep? Where are you going to put them? In the field. Oh. Right here. It's by himself? Yep. He's hanging out? I'm all He can stand there like that. And he's going to the grocer. Tommy's going to the grocer. Okay, the grocer says... I get a sheep. 
until we remember what all this stuff does, we probably should look it up. Take one of the following goods. Timber, brick, sheep, cattle, or a horse. Which one do you want? Sheep? Sheep. Okay. Additionally, take one grain and one leather. One grain, one leather. Where is that? Grain's right there. Okay, so I'll put up to two. Yep. And then this leather thingy where the thing hide is goes to three. Uh, that's hide, it's not leather. Oh, sorry. Where's the leather? At? Right here. Oh, one of these things. Mm hmm. All right, my turn. I'm going to go to imitate the laborer. Jesse J. I have four horses. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Forget that. Got four horses and they got I'm going to go to the master <gasps> over here in wintertime. Ooh, the master. Mm-hmm. So I have three careful. workbenches so I can upgrade three things. So I'll upgrade Ooh. the... See, my question, why is there like a food up here that's a five, but then there's a food down here that's at zero? You add them together. Ooh. A spade for one wood. And I'll upgrade an axe for one wood. And I'll upgrade an oven for one clay. Look at all these crazy oh, upgrades. that's not the right kind. I can't do that one. I'll upgrade a pottery wheel for one clay. Seems like an awful lot of upgrading. I'm all about upgrading. Ooh. Your turn. Just curious if I would win the giveaway, but I am no more in the stream chat, what happens then? We will contact you, Jesse J. Yes. Mm-hmm. We can let you know. We will contact you um, probably via Twitch. Or if you're in our Discord, we'll contact you via there. I think it, it, the player token goes per season. Hmm. Um, Killabud was asking, does the player token get passed? Ah, okay. So the way that works, Killabud, um, if nobody takes the special action, which means if nobody goes outside to the other side, then this just passes. If someone does go over here, they will not be first player the next time. So in that situation, it, like for example, I went over here, it's for sure gonna pass to Jesse. If Jesse had come over here, it would for sure stay with me. So that's how that works. Mm -hmm. And now it's Jesse's turn, so. Oh, you can take over, your turn. I got you a horse and a sheep. Yep. He's this, like, I don't wanna play this game. This you is, do it. This is Phil and this is Mrs. Ed. Treat them kindly. All right, where's the slaughterhouse? Ah! How <laughs> dare you? That's in the winter time, you have to wait. <laughs> Okay. So I can't wait to butcher these things. All right. For me. All right. Let's do a Now uh, we have more peat to cut away. No problem, Jesse J. If you're not here whenever we Pull the names out of the hat. If That's you're down here, we'll contact you if you win. Yep. One stall. Huh? Building the stalls a one are stall. Here. And a building. But you also have to pay the additional cost for the building. Well, the additional cost are there, too. Um... I don't know. I think I could uh, do that. Let's get another stall to start working on our sheep people. In these games, it's always good to go for a lot of animals. Maybe. Oh, imitate is to do someone else's move. Yep. So, I should have done that a long time ago. I forgot about that move. So I will actually imitate your workbench would have been nice a while back. The master, you mean? The master, yeah, yeah. The workbench upgrades. Whoops. But I still want to get it in for this season. 
So that's going to cost me two food. I want to imitate you. Okay. I want to be just like you. Imitating master? Yes. Okay. So which one would you like to upgrade? You don't have to upgrade that. You can choose which oh, one. Oh, but I am. Okay, so that costs you two clay? Yeah. And oh, I misplayed earlier. What's up? I upgraded my workbench. I should have immediately had a third upgrade. Immediate. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Just like I'm going to have, right? Yeah. I'll just move this one. I'm going to get spades for wood and that does cost a wood to do it, mm -hmm. upgrading. Oh, that's not just when you use it? No, the blue thing, the blue barrier thing, that's the cost of doing that upgrade. No, but I mean even on like moving these other things. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to ask me. Like, I know we got to pay two clay to do this one. Yep. Because that's what we're doing. We're doing that action. No, the action you're doing is upgrading any of these. The number of times is is told to you here. Mm, okay. So you did one. Mm -hmm. You did another. Mm -hmm. So you get one more. But no matter which ones you choose, you have to pay that cost for the one you're upgrading. It's confusing because it makes you think this goes with this, but it doesn't go with this. This goes with all of them. How fun. <laughs> Let's go for the... Well, I was, did say I was going to butcher this horse. I don't think you can right now. Well, I mean, in the winter. Melissa didn't bring me any dinner, I noticed. <laughs> she asked, remember? I thought she was just talking to you. Oh, <laughs> she said, do y'all need anything? She said honey. Oh, did she? I don't know, we can look back later. She didn't say honey. She didn't <laughs> Let's do the baker. I'm, I'm confident I'm going to eventually get you bricks. You don't have any bricks, so you can't <clears throat> do that. <clears throat> oh, right, right, right. That's right. See, I was thinking when you use it, you spend the bricks. You know, upgrading it when you use it you are gonna get all this stuff but you don't have to pay any of that stuff oh my gosh so confusing well let's raise our uh, the slaughterhouse why not that is a horse right Picture. that's any animal that's any animal that'll cost you one clay one clay Spent. Okay, so that's the end of the first of nine half years. Now we go into the November inventorying. So inventorying is a special thing, and there's a bunch of steps to it. So the I rule book recommends inventory. when you get to that part to just read it out of the book. Okay, so here we are, inventorying. So this is November, right? Yes. Empty your vehicles. We don't have any vehicles yet. No. Nope. So nothing's happening there. Probably should have. Milking. You receive food based on how many sheep and cattle you have. So I have one cow, for example. Mm -hmm. So I get... One, nothing. One food for two sheep, two food for five sheep. Oh, wait. One, one food for one, for one yeah, cattle. Oh, I'm right. I get one food. Okay, that's one food. You have a sheep, Yep. but you need two sheep for milk. And you have horses. They don't give milk. Okay. Harvest. You receive one grain per grain field and one flax per flax field on your board. All right. So, Screech. Get that. Both of us are going to move those both. Oop, oh, not one. that. It's the green one, right? Yep, the green one and the yellow one. All right. You also receive one wood per forest on your board. We don't have any forests. I didn't get any forest yet. Nope. That was the other thing I like to do. Here's forest right here. I'm starting to remember these things. <laughs> Sustenance. Pay three food and two peat for the upcoming winter. 
One, two, three, and two peat. Paying two peat and three food. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, just enough. For each missing food, you can pay grain instead. If you run out of grain, pay an animal for every missing food. If you're missing peat, you can pay wood or timber instead. If you're still missing food or fuel, lose two victory points per missing item. Keep track of that on the scoring sheet. It's mm. off camera, right over here. Okay. Potato pancakes. That's it for that. Are potatoes so that's the pancakes? end of the half year. Um, we would move our you know things over here to this track, but we don't have any of that. So we're gonna advance to the winter, and mm -hmm. now yellow is gonna be on the bottom, and red is gonna be on the top. And red's gonna take that. I have a lighthouse. And so now we're going to go back to the preparations phase. Pass the starting player token to your opponent unless he uses special action. Bring your workers into position for the current round. And now we're ready to work again. And that's it. And we just keep doing that until we get to the end. Yep. Easy, right? I think we're getting it. Well, I think a good opening move here is the master. So let's pick... Oh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't have two uh, clay for that. You don't have to choose the workbench as one of the uh, but I want to. Upgrade. <laughs> oh. I'd like to. So let's... Um, I mean, the grocer could give me that. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, let's go to the grocer. He's going to cut a piece of peat, which will clear that one. So the grocer says, take one peat off of your more tiles. You may not take peat from the general supply. Additionally, take one animal of any type, one wood, and one clay. Let's take a sheep. The sheep will not breed out in the open. We'll get them a nice little cubby. Can they even be stored two to one? Oh. Um, the rest of these games you can. Yes, you can. Okay. okay. You can put two in an empty field. But they're shy. They won't do anything out in the field. That's right. So I get a wood and a clay. Wood. Clay. Your turn. Goat's milk. Um... Mm-hmm. Um. Trying to decide to, what to do. How do I get one of these? A forester. Which is in the summer. Oh. Can't grow, grow trees in the winter. Oh. How about that? Okay, well, I guess I'll go to the wood trader. Pay one food and either take four wood or build a building. We're paying the cost depicted on the game board. If you cannot pay the food because you have none left, you can pay one grain instead. Mm. So I'll pay one food. And get forward. Oh, because the blue thing is on the same space as you. What blue thing? That's why you have to pay the thing here. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go up to the baker. Let's spend uh wheat. And a peat. We're going to collect six food. Per oven you have, you may convert a grain and a oh, peat to six one. food. You may replace grain with flax and peat with wood if you have no grain or peat, respectively. I do. I have lots. What about flip this over? It's out of peat, but I think there's an action to do that. Well, you could, you could have gone to the warden. Oh, that's what that little symbol means? Okay. Well, I think so. 
Okay. The small boardwalk. I don't know how the small boardwalk works. I thought it just went away after it's done. Because, yeah, that's one of those negative things. See, this one actually has a symbol. Yeah. Flipping. Does anybody know about the small boardwalk? Why are there not three horses now? When do they breed? Um, they breed in the winter time. Uh, okay, so after this there will be. <laughs> now I haven't eaten them yet. I'm thinking about it. They do give me delicious food. But I kind of wanted to eat the baby. You know, once I have the baby, then I'll eat them. Can somebody look that up? What are we looking up? What happens with that boardwalk thing? The small boardwalk. How do you get rid of it? Talking about the, oh, I'll take a look while you take your turn. Good luck. Ah! All right. Um, you can cut peat there until you have removed all the peat from the tile. It will immediately become cultivated and the more tile will be removed from the home board talking about the home I mean these so I think that that works the same way for the other one too oh okay yeah that's what I recall goes away Let's see, two empty land spaces. I'll go to the cattle trader. Get two wheat. And a sheep. And a moo cow. I'm going to put the two moo cows together in the stall and put the horse out here on the dike. Yes, Killabud already explained it. Once you've cut all the four peak tiles from a more or boardwalk uh, tile, you may remove it. Goodbye, tile. Here you go. Thank awesome. you. Thank you, Killabud. Hmm. Back to you. Back to me. Back, Back to life. life. Let's go with... Uh, we don't coordinate, we just think alike. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. This guy. I forgot his name. Um, that's Orlando Bloom. Kinda. Oh. <laughs> Depends what movie. Let's go with... Clyde and Tommy. I don't know which one that Bacteriality, is. Bacteriality, Clyde. Is that who did it? Oh, oh, she's naming people. In Orlando. Should I order a pizza? Yes, order me one. Orlando. Jenna, have it sent to me. <laughs> I actually have a thing that... I was supposed to bring pizza. I was supposed to bring dinner home as soon as we're done. Oh. Um, let's oh, oops. go with... I really... I want these sheep to do their thing, so... I guess I will have to get a laborer. Oh, wait. Let's do the workbench. Because I have the clay now to raise the workbench. So that's going to be immediately four. So that's one. I have three more. Let's do the shovels for one wood. No thanks, Melissa. Let's do the wood cutter. Or actually, let's do spades for a wood. And I have two more wood left. I haven't eaten dinner, so that would not be good for me on stream. <laughs> Let's do the wood cutter. Really wish I would have clay going into that, but I didn't. Ooh, where did I get this from? <laughs> Melissa did an action that gave you that. Oh, great. Let me turn this in. 
take it somewhere. Your turn. Um, I'm going to the butcher. Mm, butcher block. So per butchering table, I have two butchering. Oh, sorry, slaughtering tables. I have um, two some. slaughtering tables. So I'm going to slaughter this horse and this sheep. Murder. Goodbye, Aminals. I get three food each. One, two, three, four, five, six. A thousand degree pizza. Wait. And then. Where's that? Four of these. One, two, three, four. A little out in Thibodeau, right? Is there a thousand degree pizza in Baton Rouge? Just got one. Never me. heard of it. I've never heard of it. We have lit pizza. Mm hmm. Um, thousand degree. I guess right. that's hot. My turn. We're going to build a building. How much food is necessary to feed these people, by the way? Three food. Before I overdo it. Okay. I'm Every say, time. Every time it's three food. Okay, great. Right? So I'm spending two food here to do the labor. I'm going to build a building. We're not going to buy a fancy building. We're going to buy a stall. We're going to move our sheeps in there. Come inside. It's cold. Yeah. Every time you do this one, you got to pay three food and two peat. Every time you do this one, it's just three food. Okay, fair. That information is actually here. Oh, way up there. Yeah, this isn't normally how we would have it set up. No, it's just for stream purposes, the way... Normally, if you sit across from each other, this whole thing would be shifted, and these two things would be easy for us to well, see. Well, this one we might be sitting next to each other, but this would be, yeah. like, down next to me instead yeah. of up there. Yeah, because that's very far away. They can't tell how far away it is, so... Right. <laughs> Ugh, that's how far away it is. <laughs> so where did you go? I didn't uh, see. I built a building. Labor. Spent two food, and I picked up a stall. Moved my sheep inside. Okay. The, a stall is not a building. It isn't. No. What is it? These are buildings. What is a stall then? Uh, you can go here to get. Uh, no, that's you can how go here to get a stall. Oh. Oh, garbage. Really. Um, so, does any of those store sheep? So. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. But you could go here and you just pay two uh, clay and one wheat to get a stall. I don't have clay. Oh, I spent two food to do that. Dad said you could order power. Dad said. You have to ask your dad. Dad said. What was that? What's that song? If I sent my dad a text and asked him about pizza, he'd be like, who is this? Who is this? And new, actually, he wouldn't reply at new all. New phone, who this? <laughs> well, then. I guess my sheep are just going to have to freeze for the winter. They don't mind. They, they just won't breed. True, they don't mind. I oh, guess. I see. Let's see. Um, let's go with... What a bummer. So it's like Subway, but for pizza, cooked in a stone oven. Sounds delicious. Just go to the Dyke Warden, I guess. Okay, they'll let you flip one tile over. Yeah, let's flip this one. And move a dike. Let's move this guy up. Alright, that's me. Hmm. This still isn't as much as Caverna. The choices? I don't think there is. Right. I'll go to the laborer. Pay two food. To get a building. I'll take the workshop. Oh, that must be a competitor. Thousand degree pizza. So I need yeah, to one of these. Similar. And one of these. Mm -hmm. Put the workshop up here. So I paid the two food, I paid one a resource, and I paid one wheat. And now each November I'll get to do free upgrade and get wood. Each November inventory, yeah. End of June. 
All right. Well, that's it for that round, or that half year. Yep. So now we got to do the inventorying step. Uh, so let me get to the inventorying here. After you finish winter, okay. Empty your vehicles. We should probably start getting some vehicles. Animals are going to reproduce, so I'm going to make a new baby cow. Mm. Well, I'm not going to make it. Henry and Henrietta over here are going to make it. I'm going to make a cow and a sh not a sheep. Nope. I mean, just a horse. Not even a cow, just a horse. Yep. It's okay. Collect wool from your sheep. I have two sheep. For two sheep, you'll get one wool. One wool. This is right over here. There. Got it. Uh, that, you, you moved this one, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> I'll move the cooking pot. <laughs> now pay three food. One, two, three food. Did you pay three food? Yes, I was reading. Fern is a lot less open when you have the new races. I mean, we just have the default game. <laughs> you know what I do, Danuki, when I do that? I put the video on PS4 showing on my TV. So Twitch is playing up there. And then I pulled up the Twitch oh, on my yeah. phone as well, just for the chat. So I can, like, text chat on my phone, but mm -hmm. listen back to what they're saying on the TV. Because I'm extra. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to move the first player back over to me, since nobody took the special action. And we're gonna stack our people back up over here in June again. And we're gonna advance this down to number three. And that's that. That's that. I'm gonna go first thing to the peat cutter. Mm, good one. That's where I wanted to go last time. <laughs> so super extra, but that's why we love you. Aww. So I get to cut seven peats, for Pete's sake. I'll cut these four, five, six, seven peats, and that gets rid of this thing, thank goodness. And that's it. Now we're moving. <laughs> oh, we are? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Boy, food is used for everything in this okay. game and in the summer there's not many ways to get food well there's, there's fishing mm-hmm and there's a uh, um, <laughs> buildings and stuff yeah unfortunately stalls and stables aren't buildings apparently <laughs> oh boy Yeah, food's used for everything. Wow. Wow. I put these out. I didn't even pay attention. I just, I thought I was putting them out randomly. They're all perfectly lined up where they belong. Because they're... For you. Because di different colors. Yeah, I didn't even notice. Yeah, those are specific buildings. The only random ones were at the top, if I recall. And she ordered a 112-inch pizza. Oh, gosh. That seems like a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. I mean... A six pack, four cheesecakes, garlic bread, and a 112 inch. I got an old school flip phone. I work as a welder, building drill rigs, <laughs> broke way too many smartphones. I hear that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a that. I have a flip phone, but it's my secondary phone, so. <laughs> work phone. Um, okay, let's. Well, you are like really good if you're typing on the PS4. There's a way to connect a, uh, like a. Lap, keyboard like a keyboard to your like PS4. Or I, don't, something like that. I don't know how to do it. I'm not one of those people. I need to find a way to get food. That's what I've been looking for. And it doesn't seem to have You could have butchered your people last time or butchered my people, yeah. Yeah, or not your people. I your mean animals. I have enough to feed for now. Uh so I guess we could do some other stuff. Let's let's just start working on Shovels, I guess. Maybe I... Mm, no, still don't have any of that either. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Ah! Ooh, nice dancing. Let's go with the clay worker, I guess. Ugh. Per shovel. I have four shovels. 
I get four clay. Four clay. Green archer needs food badly. Gauntlet. I don't know what that means. You know what Gauntlet is? It's an old video game. Gauntlet Legends is the arcade version that said that a lot. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to get whooped. I don't wrap I don't my head how. around games like this very well. I haven't either. But I think I'll get to be okay. I don't, I don't understand what it means whenever you have this. Oh, I read you get wood. about that. You get wood for the thing. And plus points. How, how did I lose all that food I made? I made so much food. I killed a bunch of animals. Where did it all go? You ate three of it and you only made six. It seemed like I made so much. Yeah. Challenge Gauntlet is the only Gauntlet I know. Uh, right. Gauntlet was I'll a, go up to the a four player uh, dungeon crawler game. Master. Arcade game. Video game. Just throw it around willy nilly. Got some case off of eBay. Maybe my phone is struck, but like a otter box style thing. They have the giant one. But I'm sure if he's on a rig, he's like dropping in, in the ocean and stuff like that. Oh, you're workbenching. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna have wood. I guess I should spend it on stuff. Sure. I'm just kind of oh, there's Western music playing apparently right now. Yeah. Oh, cause yeah, that's the most peaceful music I have. Um, cause you know we're working fields and maybe this is out west. We don't know. It's not. It's Western of Arl. Germany. <laughs> and if you look up pictures of these dikes. Um, they're called something else. You can actually see the animals standing on them. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> it's adorable. They have like a little bathtub with water in it that they drink out of. It's super cute. I'm going to go to the carpenter. He's going to build me a stall for two clay and a bag of wheat. He works for wheat and clay. Or he's making my big building out of clay, I guess. Get in there. All right, go for it. I'm going to go to the fish traps, the fishermen. <laughs> Need to look this up. Fisherman, you're Take gonna raise sheep. your fish traps by one. You already did that? Get a sheep. Yeah. Raise fish traps plus one. Yeah. Move your fish trap tool indicator one space to the right, then take one food per fish trap you have. Four. So you must have raised that before, huh? Yeah. One, nice. Two, three, four. That's a way to get food. Get on in there, Phil and Philomena. <laughs> Let's do the... Um... I didn't take any pictures of the last two games we've played. So I gotta get a picture of this. Let's do the axe thing. We're gonna get four wood. Why do you keep going all the places I want to go? Because um, I'm hacking stuff, information. Where's the plow? Where is the plow? What plow? Oh, the plow you're talking about. What the plow are you talking about? Oh, it's on the back of the peat boat. Ah, yes. Oh, it shows the alternative here. Yes, so I just didn't know that was the plow. So you have to pay this to get it, I guess? Yes. And it goes into your garage. And then what do you do with it? And then you can plow things. 
You can sell it. What the hell is that even Ooh. mean? You can sell it? Yeah, to one of these towns. Well, I don't have any wood, so I can't get that anymore. Who's looking for it? Uh, Dornum's looking for it. They'll give you eight food for it. That's how you're supposed to get food. We need to make <laughs> deliveries. It's so far away from us. You just don't understand. And people at home probably can't see it very well either. But no. people who have played this game know what those are because they're the same every time. So yeah, that is definitely a way to make some food. I'll build a building. One of these. Mm hmm And one wheat. Wheat. And I'll take the Thank you. novice's hut. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Let us know in the chat if you know what that joke is from. <laughs> That's usually what we say. You are so good looking. <laughs> what is that from? Uh, Classic Americana. Yep. So you paid what? A wood and something for it? Oh, food bag. A grain bag. Grain bag. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get some stuff. Look at you. Earning. Over to me. Well, I feel like I should... Uh, I mean, I didn't plan very well. Sure. I'm not going to be able to do the upgrade because I don't have any stuff. What upgrade? I get a free upgrade. Oh. <laughs> oh, because you got to pay for it. So it's not really free. It's, just it's not. Free it's, action. it's just a free chance to do an upgrade, yeah. I'm guessing. I'm sure you still have to pay for it, knowing in these games. You must pay for it. You pay the cost and move exactly one tool indicator, one space to the right. Boy, he is precise. Let's. Ooh. Where do we go? As soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna eat dinner so hard. <laughs> oh, we're almost halfway through this game. Ugh. The things hurry, I want to do. Hurry. Uh, cost food. <laughs> and you can afford it. You got no, some wheat. No, and you got animals as well. They'll eat the animals. I want to just eat food, though. I need to raise my Jesse, loans. why don't you go to church to watch Melissa sing? I'm sleeping. Good answer. Because that's why. <laughs> that's um, the only reason why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at that grocer. Grocer? Grocer over here is pretty good, too. So the farmer sells a plow, though. Let's go to the farmer. See if we can use that plow. You can go over into the winter if you want. Uh, it actually benefits me too, doesn't it? Well, you're not going to become first player next time if you do that. Oh, right. right. Benefits you. I'm just saying. It's an option. I'm getting a plow. Do I have to pay for that? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be a wood and horse. Bye, horse. Go into my place. Barn. Yeah. So per plow, what does that mean at the bottom there? Let's find out. Yep. You should just leave it open to that page. Build a plow. Uh huh. Place it in your barn. Additionally, or alternatively, you may plow one field per plow you have. Let's do it. For each new field, decide which side to display on your home board. I'm gonna, Flax or grain. I'm going to plow grain. No. No, wait, what? Oh. Oh, I'm adding a field. Yes. Oh, here. Let's add a grain field. No eating, Mr. Ed? I didn't. I traded him for a plow. He's going to go live life on a no, nice farm. You didn't trade him. What he's, what he's doing is Mr. Ed is pulling the plow. Oh, yeah. He's going to work. It literally says that in the rule book. That's how he feeds his family. You'll no longer get any points for him or any credit for him, but he's still living on your farm. He's pulling that plow. Yeah, he's up here now. He's with it. He's working. And eventually you will trade that away, probably. Probably. And then he'll be gone. <laughs> yep, he's going to live a light, nice long life in Dornum. All right. 
Eventually. I believe he was dismissed, I hope. Okay, that's awesome. Um, so, now we're gonna go on to the inventory. Empty your vehicles. Don't have any yet. Receive food from your cattle and sheep. Oh, that's milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a milk. Finally. So, I have only one sheep, so I get nothing for that. I have that. two sheep. That's so one. So, you get one. And then food, I have, right? Yes. Yeah. Then I have three cows, so I get two food for that. Bink, bink. They just drop food off of them? It's milk. Oh, okay. They were just shaving off. <laughs> so no, <laughs> it's milk. <laughs> like a gyro's cut. <laughs> Harvest your forests and fields. I don't have any forests, but I do have fields. Yeah, I have two fields of Arl. Ah! Ah! There we go. Pay three food and two peat. One, two, three, and two peat. Two peat? Oh, I thought it was three. Well, it's three two. peat. And three foods. Yep. Okay. okay. Now that's the end of that. We've yeah. done our inventory, so now we're new preparations by passing this back to you. Lighthouse. Pulling these guys down. <laughs> All of mine are fairly accessible. And I go up to the fish. I need to fish. I know. It's, good. it's decent food once you get really good at it. Oh, and I, I get things as well. You do. I get a wood. I would get an... Oh, oh I could use this wood to do an upgrade. <laughs> I will. Bye, Vehicles wood. Vehicles who need them. I need them. I'll get I'll to upgrade it. my axe. I've been prepping for it. Get one of these, and I get to move one of my dikes. So I'll move this one up. Mm. All right. And now it's time for the fourth half vehicle. Now. Half vehicle, half year. <laughs> it's time for a breakdown. Never gonna get it, never gonna <laughs> get it, never gonna get it. It's funny how everyone knows exactly what that is. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go for... They were talking about In Vogue on the Masked Singer. Yes, yes, they were. Where are we going, folks? Where are we going? I think it's funny that when they revealed one of the people, someone in the, in the season earlier had said, that could be him. And the other person said, no, nah, he's too fat. Oh, right, right. And right. it was literally him. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Poor yeah. Piggy needs a house, Ronald. He ain't happy on the log. He loves standing on here. It's not a pig. It's, it's a she. <laughs> His name is Jared. He really loves standing on a dike. Yep. Oh, as a matter of fact, this moo moo cow's gonna go over here. Just to do it. Well, because <laughs> these be, oh, these right. people need to have some privacy. You, right. They gotta do something. Brown things. chicken, brown cow. Brown chicken, brown cow. There's no chickens in this game. Yeah. What are we thinking here? We need food. That's certain. Uh, what yielded a bunch of food last time? Baking yielded food. That was pretty good. The butcher yields a bunch of food. Yeah, but... You could slaughter some of those animals. Per oven. Wow. I need to get my ovens. Oh, well, I need to get... Builder's Merchant. It's not pink. It's like off-white. <laughs> oh, okay. The horse looks like a sheep. Oh, the horse really does look like a horse. Or a camel or something. A llama. Horsey. Let's go over to the builder's merchant. Read that for us. I mean, it's pretty simple. Looks yeah. like. I know you're going to get two skins for sure. Two skins. Oh, two hides, excuse me. Two Take hides. one wood or clay and one timber or brick. Take a wood and I'll take a brick. Your turn. Are we sure we can't just upgrade that wood? <laughs> Indicate you can carry out the depicted conversion at any time, in any number of times. This type of conversion can only be found on buildings. That one, yeah. It's a yellow yeah, area. Give me the thing yellow to take arrow. Arrow. How do we upgrade our stuff? Someone that please really Google good. that. How do you upgrade wood into timber or <laughs> clay into bricks? We need to know. Need 
to... Now let's look it up. Wood. Okay, here we go. So you can always pave timber instead of wood and brick instead of clay. Well, I'm sure that's possible. Um... Building materials. What do I need blank for? What do I need timber for to use wood trader? That's not going to help you. No. For now, let's just play not knowing how to do that. <laughs> or knowing what I'll go is. here to the wood trader. Here we go. Pay one food. And get four woods. Here we go. What that means is whenever you're putting loading them onto a vehicle. They get flipped over. I know that part. Yeah. Well, that's what that means. You can't just swap it. It's only whenever you're putting them on a vehicle that they'll Yeah, because they're going to come back to you as a timber. That's what that means. Yeah, that's what the arrow means. Every time you put that's how you convert goods... Them. Onto a car, you mm -hmm. turn it over, and when it comes back to you, when you unload it, it's going to be upgraded. That's what the arrow means. Anyways, that's okay. what I was to say there. Picture. Okay. Here. I believe you. Is it not the wood trader? It's not the wood trader. The wood trader just gives you wood. We, we found the answer. Where is the wood trader? Oh, there he is. I just went there. Yeah. For wood or a building. I already have some buildings. I didn't want another one. All right, Ethel's go gonna it. head over to. Uh, oh boy, Ethel, what are you gonna do here? I think she's gonna go to the workbench. Still have some things she needs to work on here. So let's work on. Let me get rid of this one to raise my ovens. One. We're gonna go. I fear we're doing a terrible job at playing this game. We haven't got any vehicles. We haven't made any deliveries. I'm about to get some vehicles. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to start to get a vehicle. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna get a vehicle. Maybe you are. I'm not gonna get nothing. What's this little vehicle do? Is that a vehicle? It's a small one. Can only hold one thing. It's a little caught. A little caught. It's like a silly vehicle. A little caught. That's, mm, that's not, that's, that's considered a hand caught. And on the back they have a wagon. Um, let's go to the axes for a wood. I got two more. Um, Let's go shovels for one, and the slaughterhouse, or slaughtering tables, I should say, for one clay there. Your turn. The plow is considered equipment, not a vehicle. <laughs> but so I'm getting I a I can vehicle. ride a plow to town. I'm going to the Wainwright to get a vehicle. There you go. I'm going to get this little vehicle right here. Two wood. Yeah. He got a hand cart. Now he can give people rides. Two wood. Like he's an Uber service. How do you load them? At any time during the work phase, you may load your vehicles, rearrange your animals, use your peak boat, use the buildings with the clock symbol that you possess. Oh, people, right. So I could load up one of these right now. Yep. I'll load up this. Cool. I think as soon as I put it, I need to look how that works. <laughs> vehicle. We are a little hickish here, so we say vehicle. Uh, go ahead, Jesse. You say vehicle. <laughs> or vehicle. Did I say vehicle? I mean vehicle? By default, I usually say vehicle. Hmm. My first job was at a used vehicle place. 
Uh, right, I had a plan. I have a plan, Arthur. We're going to go to the woodcutters. We're going to cut some wood. In the summer. In summer. Hmm. Oh. You're yeah. taking a summer action. I am. Five pieces of wood. I mean, you know, because I'm giving up the thing anyway. Five? Five, he's red. Yes. One wood per axe. You can, you can load your vehicles even right after you get them. This is not an action. You can do this on top of your actions. Please note the tiles you put on your vehicles will only be removed from there at the end of the work phase. You can load your vehicles with building materials to upgrade them, fabrics to upgrade them, travel destination tiles of your color to receive food at the given destination. Yep. Great. Yeah, well, we really we need to get vehicles going. When you place a travel destination tile on a vehicle, you must use it immediately. Sell at least one of the depicted items and receive the given amount of food. Each item can only be sold once per travel destination. So I'm putting this... Oh, it's immediate. ...on here. And it says, um, return the tokens to the general supply. So that's one Try piece. Beat. Whoops. Goes over mm. there. Um, then adjust the food indicator on your goods track. Sit on a pillow. Two more foods. Doop, doop. Okay, then what? When you're done selling, turn the travel destination tile to its reverse side and leave it on the vehicle. Yeah, so you can't fill it up again. It remains there and blocks <clears throat> the spaces of the vehicle until the end of the current work phase. Only then can you place it on your travel experience track. Mm. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Uh, don't forget, we do have a giveaway going right now. If you have Steam, you can win a code for one of the games that's on screen right now on the right side of the screen. You can use exclamation point giveaway to get all the details about how to enter. That's right. And where am I going with this thing? Hmm. <laughs> Steam, what's that? It's this uh, rarely used, very uh, niche program, I guess. Y'all are terrible. Hmm. What is Steam? Hmm. It's water vapor. Yup. I think I need to get a stall, but then I would need clay, and I don't know how to get clay. You know how to get some clay? Uh, the clay in worker. In this joint? Her shovel. Clay in summer. worker, her shovel in the summer. Okay, well that's not gonna help me. <laughs> Otherwise, it looks like uh, the grocer can get you one. I need more than one. Oh, well, wait for summer. That's no good. You can imitate, and no, that won't do anything either. No. Um, I think I'll go to <laughs> the dike warden. Flip this over. Ah, uh, counter strike. And move up my dike. Oh, he's key. riding it. He likes to ride it. Well, I said I was going to get a vehicle. I got uh, one. Yeah. I wish I had, but I have to wait till summertime because right now we need food. Or I'll, I'll starve. Wait, I can get I can get it. You can also use wheat instead of food. If I buy a vehicle, I can just get food that way. Yes. That's an idea. Well, you don't have enough food to imitate to be able to buy the vehicle. Rats. Well, it looks like I'm going to go get some food at the baker. So we're going to spend two wheats and two P 
Pete's. That rhymes. I know. To get and, 12 food. Yeah, so I'm going from 1 to 13 here. I don't think you have to worry about food for a bit. Well, I'm hoping. Grand Theft Cart. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I should just steal a vehicle. <laughs> vehicle. Um, what was I going to do, I wonder? I say vehicle. What do you say? Vehicle. Ve vehicle? 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 <laughs> I also say swore. Vehicle. My, it's vehicle. Vehicle. It's Pete. P-E-A-T. Pete. It's, um... Ah, oh, the it's Pete. A, it's fuel. Um, that's what it is. <laughs> you can uh, Google about it if you're... It's like... Isn't it like dead grass in the swamps and stuff? Yeah. These are moors. They have peat on them. Yeah, if you don't live in the UK, out. you might not know Some people like that about stuff. Moors. They're really into it. And that's why wow. we could use it as uh, money. <laughs> right. All right. So, like, yeah, when I'm cooking ovens, apparently I'm burning the peat, I guess, to make the fire. And then I'm also using the flour bags. To make six food. We eat bread in this house. I'm gonna, I guess I'll just go here to the laborer and Partially get another building. Yeah. Two food. And I'll pay one wheat and one wood mm -hmm. to get another building. Got those buildings I'll going. take the farmer's house. Ah, you finally got the good one. That's the good one. I don't know. <laughs> Partially decomposited. 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 Plant matter. I like it. Yep. All right. Speaking of matter, all that matters is we're done. Yeah. With this winter, we're going to do our May inventorying now. So in May, our inventorying says that that's too far away for me to read. <laughs> Empty your vehicles. Okay, so my vehicle is getting emptied. You start your road, finally. Into here. Okay, that stays there. The animals in your stalls and stables reproduce. I'll make it another moo cow. I'll make another horse and sheep. Yup. Then you can collect wool from your sheep. I have one sheep, so I get one wool. You have how many sheep? Three. Three. You get one wool. Ugh. Until you have four. Right. Now I pay three food. Three food. One, two, three. Oh, that's true. Like, that's not me. That's reminding me to make more Free Play Fridays. <laughs> I can't believe that's not just like a thing. Just make it, you know, it's like automatic. It takes me about four minutes. Well, I'm just about saying. Once a month. So. It should be automatic. Yeah, well, there is a way to do that, but it's... It's not, it's not what we want. Right, because I remember. <laughs> okay, now we're on to preparations. Jesse went and took this over here, so it's for sure going to be me as the first player now. So red will go at the bottom over here. Mm -hmm. We're moving on to part five. We are halfway through the game. I know I should grow my lands out, but uh, I'm gonna go here yeah. to the clay worker because I need oh, clay yes, you do. to get five clays. You can go ahead. Well, I'm in need of some cutting. Need going up here, so we get seven of these. Which removes this one. Goodbye. I'm going to go to the woodcutter and get six woods. Pretty good, pretty good. This guy's going to go to the laborer, spend two food, pay him to uh, make us a good vehicle. So, if I wanted to buy the opposite side, I could right now, or do I have to like work towards that? Uh, you'll notice that this one has the little symbol uh -huh. on it right here. I, I thought you could just to... buy it. Mm, let's see. Or I can buy this and then do the flip action. What is that one called? 
Oh, that's a large vehicle? Yeah. Because I can go one of two ways. I, I thought this was how it worked. It was like, you can buy it this way and then later on go to Warden and flip it and it's like getting it at a discount that costs two dudes. <laughs> Pay two food and either build a vehicle by paying its cost or imitate an occupied summer action. So then it says to go to number three over here. Which one are you looking at? This one? The horse cart? Yeah. Seven, Seven wood and a horse. Yep, that's what I want to do. Or the other one's what? Two horses and six wood? But it's worth more uh, victory points. But you can only break down the traveling in a certain way. Yes, the pieces go fit in yeah. here in special ways. I'm going to spend the seven because I want flexibility. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the horse, he's going to go get connected to this thing. All right. Now we're going to load this thing up. Let's see. How are we going to load this up? Well, you can load it at any point, so I'll go ahead and start yeah, taking my it. turn while you think about it. Um, hmm. I'm going to load it this one. We'll do a sheep on that one. For sheep, I get what? Four food. One, two, three, four. <laughs> now I'm pitching Grand Theft Cart. And we're going to go to Essence and turn in. You know you can turn in multiple things, right? Yeah, but I just don't have much. <laughs> well, you don't have to choose those. You could load up your cart with other stuff. You could convert that leather into something else. Fair. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, to upgrade the... Uh, Why am I giving you advice? <laughs> you're reminding me. You're not giving me advice. You're making sure I'm aware. Well, I think I'm okay with giving up peat, because that's got to be done eventually. So let's give up the peat. That'll be for two food. One, two. And then the other one will be... Let's upgrade. Am I ready for clay yet? No, really. Uh, you took the wood and the clay? Wow. Look at you. I'm going to go to the farmer. Put this on here. Get a plow. Costs one wood. Okay. And a cow. Bye, Moomoo Cow. Put that in here. And then per plow that I have, I get another thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll take um, this one. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. You have so much stuff. Okay, that makes more sense. That's what I was thinking, yes. Now I'm picturing Grand Theft Cart. It's a straight hoodwinking. I guess we'll go get Hmm. These build. I just don't know about these buildings. <laughs> don't know which ones I should be going for, if any. So we're gonna go head up to um, Forster. Looks all right. Start getting some wood income. Or we could walk over to the winter side and start, you know, copying something he's doing because he's taking up all the stuff. That might be worth it. I don't need to go first, maybe. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's walk over here. We're gonna imitate you. For two food. Two. Didn't you imitate me already? <laughs> no, I built a vehicle. Oh. So we're going to do... Um, we're gonna vehicle. Do vehicle. We're going to build the wood, which I can get five wood. Isn't that how it is? Something like that. Five wood over here. There we go. I just want to point out that I'm going to go ahead and load up True. egg in my thing right here. Sell that field. Get one food. And get rid of this field. Go for it. The one I literally just built. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get income for that? Oh, I guess not. Um, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it. When you flip this over, do you have to pay this cost? Not if you're going to the warden, I don't think. Check out the warden. Hmm. Flip over tile with the arrow symbol for free. There's no cost for flipping over these tiles. For instance, you, you upgrade a cart to a horse cart, you do not need to pay any wood or horses. Okay, well in that case, Sweet. I'm not gonna put this on here just yet. Lower Instead, your I'm gonna go, I'm about to do it. Okay. I'm gonna go to Warden and flip this over to this thing. Then you're gonna load it. And then this is gonna go in there and the thing I did earlier there. is the same. And then I'm also gonna go to Dornum Load up a plow. They want a plow, so that will give me eight food. From three up to eleven. And this plow goes back in the peak nice. boat stack. Very nice. Uh, not quite as nice as yours. As my wagon cart thingy? Yeah, yours is real bougie. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, this oh, that's right. I want to do this. Colonist. Here. Let's get a horse. And let's flip it. flip this guy, which will load it with four feet. All right, and now we're ready for the November inventory. Empty your vehicles. Vehicles. Oh, Joe. Yeah, it's still me again. Nice music. It's 740s. Uh, Into your vehicles? Oh, v vehicles. So I get this, and I get this road. Okay, receiving food from cattle and sheep. I have three cows, so I will get two food. You have two sheep, so you get one food for that. We have the wrong houses, but that's okay. My little houses are yellow, and yours are red. <laughs> okay, so what? I get stuff? Yeah, you have two sheep, so you get a food. Food. Done. And I had three cows, so I got two food. Great. All right, now harvest your forests and fields. One I have two these. fields of wheat one of, these. one of flax. Pay three food and two peat. Two peat. Two peat. One, two, three food. One, two, three. Move over to the winter time. Mm -hmm. You went out of place, so you're yes. gonna stay second player. Fine by me. I feel like we're doing different enough things, maybe. I don't know. All the whole reason I went over there is because we did. The Didn't you thing. imitate me twice last time? Once. The other one was my vehicle. All right. <laughs> um. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, I get a bunch of stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So I get one wood. And I get a, an upgrade. I'll upgrade my workbench for two of these. Then I get a wheat, move a dike. I'll move this dike up, which now gives me access to these three areas. And I get a clay. We keep buying areas. What do you need the land for? And I'm going to cut this, which 
gives me access to that. So All now that I have land. more land. Yeah, well, you know, if you don't move these up here, you get minus points. What, three? If I win by three <laughs> points, you're going to be crying. Uh, no matter how big of a vey hackle you had. Vey hackle? Vey hackle. Vey hackle. <laughs> vey hackle. Mm hmm. That. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see here. What's this say on it? So things mm -hmm. I've learned from playing Fields of Arrow. I think we should have gotten vehicles way earlier. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what this game's all about. Hmm. How do I get this? You'll want to go to the Wool Weaver. In summertime. In summer. And for that, you can turn in things. So there's a bunch of rules about how these vehicles can be divided up and how they can't be divided up and blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Got it. So, and what roles are those? For example, the wagon that I have, you cannot combine the single spaces of the wagon to fit bigger tiles. Yeah, that's why they're sideways. <laughs> Singles only. And Which also, is... like this one, that can be together, but this cannot be part of that. Right. This one... Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Um... Oh shit, what's that seat? Enjoy. I think she was just gonna sit on it. Yeah, she probably wanted to. She would have jumped up top. Alright. I'll go here to the carpenter. Look at you. To get a stall. 17 turns behind him. There's two of these. <laughs> and uh, wheat. To get a stall. Put the stall right here. This little sheep person's gonna go in there. And that's it for me. Cool. Let's go. Let's go to the builder's merchant, I think. I should be butchering animals, but I, like I upgraded the, that butcher place and just haven't been using it. I could upgrade my ovens and really do some stuff there. I'm running low on peat though. Didn't you just harvest peat? I did, but I'm using it like crazy. Ah, so much peat. Ah, the peat. Well, let's go um, get a vehicle. We're going to go for the... I think we'll spend five wood. Five wood and a horse. And take this vehicle. Yeah. Throw it in the stables. We're going to be doing some stuff with that. Go ahead. Hmm. 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 So much peat. How much? How much peat? A little bit of peat. I'm gonna go to the cattle trader. Get two wheats and 
Mm -hmm. A sheep. And a horsey. He can run free. Good for him. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I feel like I need some food. Well, I keep looking at my board for the workers, but that's not where they are. They're over here. Let's go to the builder's merchant. And get two pelts. We're gonna get one clay. Oh, speaking of which, I don't recall spending a peat whenever I did the upgrade. Okay. So I'm gonna spend that. And um, so if someone commented on YouTube, <laughs> and I'm also going to get. Oh, the sh Oh, I see. Let's get an upgraded one. Go for it. Well, I feel what I need to do now is um get another vehicle. Will you be imitating me? I think I have to, right? Yeah. My or go summer. Just, my vehicles are junky. Summer imitation. I mean, they still have to do that. Too. I know. I mean, it's the same cost. Yep. So I'll do vehicle. I mean, uh, yeah, laborer. Pay two food to be able to buy a vehicle. Now that I finally have a horsey. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll pay five woods. Two, three, four. Five woods. Going with the biggie. And a horsey to get this thing. Now they're out. Out of stock. But there are others available. Mm -hmm. Other kinds. Yep. That model is out, I need though. need more horsies to do that. And I don't have them, so. Cool. I'm happy. Hmm. What are we looking at here? Let's. Oh, wow. I think I'm going to trade in some stuff. Turn in my plow. And then go to the, the baker. Yeah, let's try that. What am I doing? Let's go here. Let's go to the baker. We're going to turn in two food bags. We're going to turn wheat. in. Two peat, and we're gonna get twelve food. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Twelve food. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Yes. Nope, no candlesticks. Over to you. We just hit the five hour mark. We did. It's pretty rare for us. I think I'm gonna um, load this thing up. All right. 
pay two of these mm -hmm. skins and two of these wheats. Okay, to so get six. six food. Bring me up to fourteen. And um, Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. I'll go to the Dyke Warden. Still no pizza. It'll come. Flip this over to get four more peat. And uh, move my Dyke up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No there more minus go. one up there. <laughs> I'm reaching my goals. That's right. Goals attained. I'm an idiot. That's not <laughs> what I should have even done. That was a dumb move. Oh well. <laughs> okay. I need to get some stuff going. Let's, um... I had a plan. I don't think it'll happen the way I think it's going to happen. So let's go with... All right, I was going to ship off some stuff. Not especially critical right now. Let's go to the wood trader. And let's just get... Oh, I can build a building there. Paying wood. Press start for 2P. Yes. Hey, press start. Today is all about two-player games. This is our <laughs> yeah, third in right. a row and our fifth hour. Yep. <laughs> And we picked the hardest one for last. I guess prior to going there, I want to uh, do some stuff over here. Let's turn in my plow for eight food. So seven plus eight, 15. Put this back where, here. So we got that done. <clears throat> Let's go buy a building. I'm gonna buy this one. It's gonna be very expensive. I think it's the right so you thing to do. Gotta pay one food. You gotta pay one food here. And then what are you doing? Buying the waterfront house for two, two bricks, bricks and to 25, 25 food. food. So that'll leave me with nine, right? So that's gone. That's fifteen paid. Oh, it's gonna leave me with four. I have waterfront no idea what the house. waterfront house does. <clears throat> I Looks like it gives me uh, ten food and two dikes move up. I don't understand why you'd want to pay twenty five food to just get also, ten. Well, it also gives you fish traps, which will move me up quite a bit up there. Waterfront house. What kind of a building is it? Oh, it's orange. Yeah. It's on the flip side of the plow. And only once. <clears throat> That's the uh, peat boat where mm -hmm. you can turn peat into other things. So immediately <coughs> and once receive ten food. Ten food. Two dikes. Two dikes. Move your two bottommost dikes up. Here and here. Yep. And move your fish trap tool indicator three spaces to the right for free. It should be five. So when I go there, it'll be six, which will be nice. And that's it. Yeah. So really, it was fifteen food, and plus it's ten points. Right. Yep. Okay, so that's the end of that phase. So we're going to move on to the inventory. So, inventory. Um, did you have anything else you needed to put on your ships, on your vehicles before? Yes. I wanted to put this guy. So you flip here. it over immediately when you put it on there. And these two. Which one of them will cost me a piece. Yeah, I put mine too. I paid Pete for mine. All right. There. Now we're going to empty them. Yep. So empty your vehicles. The animals in your stalls and stables will reproduce. So I get another sheep and another moo moo cow. They're going to go out into the fields mm. tomorrow. 
a few hopes. You get a horse and a sheep. Of Arl, horse, sheep. Collect wool from your sheep. How many sheep do you have? I have three, so you I get, get one. wool. And I also get one wool. It's been a slow climb. And now pay three food. Three food. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to move on to section seven. It's almost over. I'm pass this to you. It's almost over. And then I can get food. Oh, what do I, what do I want to eat? Let us know <laughs> in the chat what I should eat. It's the climb. <laughs> I'm supposed to be on a diet starting today. Oh, sounds awful. Yeah, I don't. Um, I'm not interested in it. <laughs> exactly. Well, let's go over to the Axe Man. I get the five Axe Man. Seven. I was thinking about Fa, Melissa. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess since you went there. Imitate it. I think I'll go to the clay worker. Ah. To get five clay. One of them's aching. Well, am I interested in clay? Not really. Hmm. I don't think I am. Lots of veggies and broth, and of course the carbs. Don't forget the carbs, very important. Awesome bike ride. That's quite a distance. Thibodeau. That's a little far for a bike ride. <laughs> oh, maybe he means a motorcycle. I like to think he thinks like a tricycle. <laughs> maybe, maybe a tricycle. Uh, I think it's time to build more buildings. Just keep building buildings. Maybe that's the plan. Um, a junk dealer. That could be fun. You know what? I'm going to imitate you. Two food. I'm going to the clay place. So I'm getting five clays. Motorcycle. Yep. We'll also be streaming it here, so if you can't make the trip, log on and say hi to us there. Mm -hmm. so it'll be a giveaway day as well, plus we'll be talking with designers and Playing some their games and fun, fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff for the whole family. Yep. Or tandem bike. <laughs> yeah. Hover bike. Yeah. Take that canal all the way up there. That comes goes through Tibeta. Okay, I had said there was something that I had wanted to do. And I forgot to do it. And what was it, the thing that I was like, oh yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do something else. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to do a peat cutter. It's three way. <laughs> no. Cut seven peats. Is it really? Three hours? It's like an Four, hour to get to Donaldsonville. Five, six, oh seven. yeah, then I guess you could cut through one all the way up to the interstate, and that's another hour. All right. Yeah, that's a long way. Go ahead. So you went up to cut. Okay. Looks like that's my future, isn't it? What? Cutting. Because we have to turn in peat at the end. Yeah. What's the alternative to that? Wood, I think. Oh, okay. Well, maybe okay. Yeah. Wood or timber. It's just one, too, right? Or is it just saying... Oh, no, it's just saying it's a replacement. It's two. Yeah. So I could turn in two wood and be all right. 
think I'd be okay. Wish my dad would just buy me pizza. Sounds just wonderful. ask. <laughs> he hasn't ever bought me anything. I don't think he did. I'm start, gonna start now. <laughs> oh, Roland, I was just waiting for you to ask me all these years. <laughs> of course I'll buy you pizza. Actually, he did give me a Christmas present this year, so for sharing a few. Can you read the ternary for me? Per forest you have two cutting wood? Two cuttings and one wood. Per forest you have. Yeah, you don't have any forests, so. Yeah, but I mean, I'm wondering that. if I want to go down that road. Immediately, per forest you have, oh, receive one wood and two cut peat actions. That's the question. There, are, Those are all immediates. Unless oh, you they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they are. Huh. Unless you see something that's obviously like an ongoing thing, which I don't see any. Cool. The great question in this game is always, how do I get this? <laughs> oh, how do I get There's blank? a place in the book that tells you how to get everything. Oh, no, no it's how do, do, I, do need I need it. Blank? I thought there's a place in here that tells <laughs> you where you can get stuff. What's the best way to get blank? How do I get more There's blank? There's every other kind of explanation in here. Whenever it says slash, is it? can it be a combination of it? What color? Like any of those, like green and white or green and yellow. One timber and either eight flax or eight grain. But not a mix? It doesn't say that. Oh, He's man. usually very specific. True. Then we'll take him at his word. I live half an hour from Thibodeau in the swamp. I can fish and hunt out my back door. Oh, wow. <sighs> I bet it sounds really loud there at night. With lots of animals chirping yeah. and... Just... <laughs> uh, let's build something or make something. Well, you know what? Um, when in doubt, fish. Let's go fishing. So we're gonna get us we're gonna get a sheep, plus we're gonna raise that up one. Sheep, go find yourself on top of that. And uh six food. Six food. Oop. Go for it. Um I always know what I wanna do when it's your turn. And then as soon as it comes <laughs> back to me, I'm like, what was that thing I wanted to do again? Nobody knows. I want to go to the grocer. Right out the back door, off the scales. <laughs> I'm going to get one yeah. horsey. You can live here for right now. One wheat. Runs free in the field. And one leather. Yeah, I need to give some privacy. Oh, not yet. Across in the this winter. Leather. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my auric thing, which is one leather. One horsey and one mumu cow. Nice. Or You'll maybe I'll, food. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mumu cow will be good. So that'll give me thirteen food. Mm, nice. Well, for my last trick, I'm going to winter and imitate you for two labor. I'm going to go peat cutting. It always is such a nice compliment when you imitate me. <laughs> Isn't it? I honestly don't have a problem doing it when I have a lighthouse. I always forget <laughs> okay. to go to the other side when I have the yeah, White House. Because it's going to pass off The anyway. White House. The White the House. The Light House. It's actually the orange and red house. Oh, because it's both of our colors. That's funny. It's kind of our preferred colors. Well, not your first preferred color, but... Yellow? I mean, I, I play yellow almost every game, so. Right. Because it's more available than purple. Yeah. All right, I'll go to the wee wool weaver. Wool weaver. Yeah, I'll pay two of these because I have two weaving looms. Mm -hmm. And get two of these things, which is just raw wool. I got to say, round one and two, we were very lost. I feel like it's been a while. Quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to the um, 
Cool inventorying Weaver. after summer. Uh, did you want to put anything else in your vehicle before we go to that? No, you're saying like Dreamweaver. Yeah, maybe. I do. I'm going to put this here. Yeah, yeah. You're going to do a lot of and that. I'm going to put these here. Okay, two peat for that. Let's do... Um, we're going to do three of each. I mean, I have the space. You see that, right? <laughs> so I got to turn in three peat to do that. It all goes in my wagons, and then it all comes back to me. Or, you know, it went in at the end, I should say. All right, receive milk from your cattle and your sheep. So I have two sheep, so I get a food for that. How much milk can I get from a horse? None. With your four <laughs> sheep, you can get one, uh, uh, two, uh, wait, four food. sheep, you can get four. one food. One food. And then the Moo Moo Cows, I have three of those, so I get two more foods. Mm-hmm. Nice. If you're wondering where the Moo Moo Cow thing came from, Rado. Um, Moo Moo Cows. Harvest your forest and your fields. You gonna do that? Oh, right. Yeah. One, two. I spaced out. There we go. Pay three food and two peat. Two peat, three food. Okay, now we're gonna slide on over into the DMs. Meaning December. Yep. <laughs> That's what I call December. DMs. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's just lightly colored. It's not that bad. All right. It's, just, it's the lighting issue. Yeah, it's that. That's definitely it. I'm All a right. Pe I'm a peephole. That's here's sure your happened. thanks lighthouse. Okay, don't let me forget to, forget to go to winter. Oh, I'm going to let you forget. Thanks. You're the best. <laughs> um, don't forget about what I said about having an even number of the different kinds of animals at the end of the game. That's important. Repeat that. Oh, to get... Wait, what? Animals. Provide victory points at the end of the game. Yes, but there's a specific way they're scored. Okay, oh, here it is. Here's... End of game. Two victory points for each animal of the type you have the least of. One victory point for each animal you type you have the most of. Oh, that's why you want to balance it out. Second most of. And then... The second most of, yeah. And then animals of the type you have the most of are not worth anything. Yeah. So right now your sheep would be worth nothing, and your horses would be worth one My each. cows are worth the most. Yes. <laughs> and I have the opposite problem. I need, I need horses. Yeah, where'd you get your cows? I guess the dike builder? Oh, well, yeah, been... you've been moving them up. I've been breeding them as well, every yeah. turn. So I don't see another place to get cows. We can get one at the grocer. Oh right! Oh right! That's a generic animal. Builder. That's right. Hmm. Wow. Team oh, why are they still on the board? <laughs> that should have been gone a while back. I mean, not that I needed the real estate, but. The height. The height. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh, I know what I want to do now. I'm going here. Mm hmm To the carpenter. That's okay. where I was going to go. Two bricks. Mm hmm To turn a stall into a stable. No. You're buying... Oh, oh yes, yes, Take exactly. Take a stall, get rid of it, turn and it. make it into a stable instead. And so on the opposite side of that is some sort of super stable that... Can house two different animals. It does house two different kinds of animals, yeah. But that one has a six cider. So yeah, there's just all one kind of animal has to go in here, the same kind of animal. But you could breed multiples if you have enough. Like if you have four in mm -hmm. here, you'll breed two. I think I'm gonna walk on over to the laborer. Getting another building? One, two, yeah, we're gonna get a building. I think we're gonna get the uh Looks like we're going to get the village church. Oh, wait, wait. I need food first. Because that costs 15 food. Well, maybe if we do this first, I can pay for it. <laughs> oh, okay. So I can get six food that way, and then I'll pay for it. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, 
Let's go grab six food first. Turning in uh, two bags of food and a pelt. Two wheats. Two wheats. I put on the other one. I don't know why, just because. And was that some skins you were turning in? Yeah, turning in a skin for two and then two bags of food, was it? Yeah, for four. Wheat. So that gives me six, which moves me up to 15. Now I can pay for said church, because I already paid the two food. Um, Jesse J is from the year 2020, are you still playing? We um, are still playing, but we're almost done actually, Jesse three J. Three wood, or three timber, three bricks, village church. It's gonna get me a fancy little wagon. And that's it. Seems like it would have been a cheaper just to pay for a wood and two horses. 15 points. I don't care about points. <laughs> just care about what filling out the I, stable. What do I care about points? I've got three one-point houses over here. Fair, fair. You've only got 25 points <laughs> worth of it. houses. I mean, come on. Uh, I think Ronald's... I mean, it's hard to say who's in the lead right now. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear we just were saying 25 compared to three? That gives you Maybe an idea. Maybe we need a giveaway. Right now, only two entrants. Two Time is people picking, though. are entered into the giveaway. You want a digital version of Splendor, or a digital version of Cult Express, or a di digital version of Avalon. Which I haven't played Avalon yet. But I aim to. Soon. Looks like a game that's up my alley, so... I'll go to the game. grocer. But Splendor is a wonderful game. Cut this. Unless you prefer like some sort of Western program movement. Get a, um, movement anyway, those pad. are all available on Steam, and we're giving one away at the end of the game. A wood and one of these. All done. <laughs> oh, you got some wool there, huh? Wait, where did that come from? What wool? Oh, you've had that wool this whole time? When I went to the wool weaver in the summer. Oh, that was a while back. Okay. So you just did a grocer. Huh. Well then. What shall we do? I was about to say, oh, I got rid of all my moors, but you've been done, got rid of all your moors. <laughs> Been done. Rude. Been done, got rid of. Oh, I didn't do all this stuff. Please do. End of thing. That's, that should be in the list. And it's very easy to forget about all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't have had one to cut when I went to that grocer. But you you know, wouldn't have had one or you would have? I wouldn't have. Oh. All good? I can't tell I'm just, just going to upgrade something else. Oh, okay. But you can go ahead. Well, I'm doing upgrades right now. I'm doing four different upgrades. I'll upgrade my oven. I'm also doing oven for a brick. It's one. Let's go with... Uh, for. They have to be different, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 that's true. So ovens was done. Let's go with a pottery wheel. That's one. Let's go with... Uh... Am I going to need a shovel pair? Yeah, probably. Let's do that. Oh, no, this one. And one more. Let's go for the... Uh... One more word for the flesh, fleshing beams. Go for it. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that. Um, I got plenty of food. I don't need that. Melissa is quoting another Twitch streamer. So that's a very specific 
quote. Now that changes everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. You say so. How do I get some horses? I need horses. Horses. Mm-hmm. Horses. I the horses. Um. How did you get so many horses? Uh, it started with the one Melissa gave me, and I got another. I mean, every time I flip these things, it was, it was always Sable colonist. Island, Ronald Duck. Huh? <laughs> it was always the colonist action that did it for me. Oh, but that won't let me. I don't have any more of those to flip, so that would be not great for me at this point. I'll go here to the cattle trader. Get two of two of these. Another little. Sheep and um, a horsey. All right. If you're watching us and haven't hit follow yet, please do. Please hit that follow. Come on back and see us. If you're oh, watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe. Yep. And then go over to twitch.tv slash hardboard games and hit follow. <laughs> yeah, so you can Just actually reminding. play with us in real life. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Because like the video said at the very beginning, it's it's not actually live <laughs> anymore. It was. It was at some point in time. Yes. Today is um, December twenty first, two thousand and one. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. I don't know when this right? game came out, but it wasn't two thousand one. Where did we go? I don't know. I think we're still here. Yeah, we're definitely still here. Maybe Jesse. Maybe she meant where did Jesse go to get strawberry cheesecake tea? Oh. Taryn, welcome Boone. back. Welcome back. Just in time. We're almost done. Yeah, we are on the last winter phase. It's Eight thirty p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we're gonna go up to the uh, Tanner. And I almost gonna... thought about going there because I thought that's where you were gonna go. <laughs> we're going to turn in all five of these belts. And we're going to get five of these. There's plenty more. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. It's a ton. I just only brought out the ones I thought. Do I need to get tickets for the giveaway? There is still a giveaway going on. It is the digital one for Steam. Yeah, this one's the digital giveaway. So um, you can definitely get in on that if you want. And the tickets are only five for these because 20 seemed like too much. Yes. I agree. I'm thinking in the future I'll make it one, but you know, I can't change it in the middle of a giveaway, so. Heart for a ticket. That gives you like a percentage to, you know, do your thing. Easy to understand, too. 90 hearts, 90 tickets. Easy. Okay, I'm gonna go over into the summer. In summer! And get a horsey. Horsey in summer. Yeah. And a and wheat. And a wheat. And a pelt. A pelt. I've been pelted with pelts. Oh, a lot of pelts. Vindication and Tainted Grail. Well, yeah, don't forget, this one pelts. is electronic blood boiler, so. Go on. <laughs> if I could... If I knew what that price was, you know. I mean, because U.S. shipping isn't super cheap either, but I just imagine it costs a billion dollars. Something like that. Um, Plus, I think we're uh, next month we're building a wall between us and Canada, so it's going to cost even more. I'm going to go to Auric. Looks like I could turn it in for a pelt here. One of my sheep. Oh, yeah, I went there. And already. a horse. So that'll get me 13 food. And then all this goes away. Jesse J is already all in. Yeah, he has those games. We might have some surprise games uh, next month. I don't know. Because we might have publishers willing to do Canada shipping. I don't know. CSI... 
is shipping to him is thirty dollars. Yeah, that's that's a little steep. Yeah, we'll see if I <laughs> switched in with this last action. Yeah, I wanted food just to make it sure I make it through the winter, and then I'm gonna get. Um, I had a plan. Roxley is a Canadian company. Put them in touch with us. We're doing a Roxley thing. We're playing. Uh, they're uh, we're playing brass for them. As, oh, yeah, that we was sure the hint. So maybe I can talk them into doing stuff because I know a guy over there. Someone's about to freak out now that you told them it is brass. <laughs> it is brass. I mean, come on. That's they why I posted the thing. I know, but that's why I posted the thing specifically. I want to have teased them with. Uh, I don't know, what's it, Steampunk Rally or something? <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Surprise games again, digital board games. I mean, there there will be some of those, but also, hopefully, some physical games. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, this guy. He's going to go to... Brass Monkey. That Monkey Monkey. Da, 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 da. I think I want some peat for next time. God, it seems like such a waste though. Food's good for everything. You already did the summer action, so I can't go over there. I don't know the answer to that blood boiler. Is it Birmingham or not? It is... Please tell me he's gonna teach us. Let's see, yeah. Well, go ahead and take your action first then. Uh, I have that listed in a second. Um, I wanna say it's, what's the other one? What's the other one called? Lancashire. I think it's Birmingham. I'll check that in a second. Ew, that weaving loom looks fun. But I don't know if I'm ready for that. It's a big commitment. <laughs> Let's go over to... I don't even know what that means. Apparently Lancashire is the one you played previously on the stream. I was not yeah. there that night. Yeah. Uh, let's go over to the wood trader. I need some wood. On that. Let's get some wood. Alright, so we're ready to do... I'm going to load up my vehicles. Load up your vehicle. And then we're going to do May inventory. I'm going to load up three of these and one of these pelts. And then I get up, unloaded. Yep, unload. There. And then the animals are going to reproduce. If they're in a stall. We're not talking about a giveaway, Terambune. We're talking about on the 30th, we're going to be streaming live from yeah. a local board gaming convention. Roxley Games is going to be there at some point, And we're going to be playing Brass mm -hmm. on stream. The guy, uh, there's Jason Dinger. He's the designer for Captains of the Gulf, which is the new splatter game. He plays this game like every week or two. Constantly. Did you reproduce? I'll reproduce right now. Well, you're going to need to take one of those sheep out of there before you get out of here. They got some stuff to do. All right. Reproduction. And then we can collect the wool from our sheep. So I have five sheep. So I get two Burning wool. ham. <laughs> you have four sheep, so you get one wool. One wool. Load up two wool. Two wool. And then pay three food. Pay three food. One, two, three. Slide this down. Slide this over. And we are coming up on the last half year of the game. Thought it was gonna be longer than this, but it has been very long. All right. So back to you, Bob. This is it. How long does it take to play Birmingham? Cause he gave it like two hours. I was like, eh, are you sure about that? Last time we streamed the other brass it was four and a half hours. Well, you had a different teacher. It's true, but convention there's distractions everywhere yeah. two hours if you're really fast okay i'll let them know it's like the last thing we're doing it's like at eight o'clock or something like that or no we're seven starting at eight o'clock no, no no that's the last game we're playing uh, brass 
But the convention ends at like 10. Right. And we're also doing like a closing show or something, so. Well, we're not going to be able to finish the game probably. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to try. I don't know. I'll put, you know, we'll learn more. Play three hours four player. Okay. I can't do another half year. <laughs> it's almost over. It's all waiting on Jesse. Yes. Oh, I got to empty him up. Well, this is not here, so Rhodes he's... must continue or finish. I can't believe there are people who play this game and, like, solve all of it. Fill up the entire board, well, get this all the way up to the top. I remember doing well in this. Um, doing all that? Doing significantly well, yeah, on that. But also filling this all up and having animals Because you can turn them in and, and get it covered. Like, I'm probably going to cover most of this, but I don't have to make do well. But yeah, as far as the animals go, probably not. Let's go to the dike builder. So we're going to get a cow, because I hear I'm supposed to get those. To the fields. Next up, per shovel pair. I have three shovel pairs. We're going to move up three of these things. So first up is one, two, three. Caught up to you. I hate you. <laughs> Your turn. Simon Expo. Let's take some repeat plays. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we don't repeat. Um, but we should. Two-player games especially would be hard to repeat. I have another two-player game on the schedule in March. You and Melissa. So you guys can play this if you want. Oh, it's... I don't get the win plan. We don't have the game plan, though. I have some games listed, but you can oh. play whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, Melissa, I hope you've been paying attention. Uh, I can hear her reaction right now. Whoop! What? Whoop! Oh, hmm, what? Huh? No, Targi. She. We've played Targi on stream multiple times now. Yeah, why not this? Well, it's a Wednesday. Star Wars Rebellion. I support that. <laughs> I need to do a building or something. Twilight Struggle. Okay, I'm I'm for it. Rebellion. We better play beforehand. Twilight Struggle. New York Slice is not a two-player game. I guess it is it not at all. New York it's Slice, three. you can't play with two players. Yeah. I need more horses. Going down, Charlie Brown. Hey, if you want to do a warm-up game so, you know, we don't have two rounds of questions. <laughs> I'll go we he should. here and get a horse. Oh, New York Slice is two-player. That's a strange one to be two-player. We had a discussion before. Just splitting players. the pizza in half. and it's like, I don't think it is, is it? I would think three would be minimum. Definitely to make a decent game, I would think. I wouldn't play New York Slice with two players. Five, four or five, I think, would be. Just because it's on the box doesn't make it right. <laughs> we don't Kingdom have Kingdom Death. Death. We don't have it. Jesse. All right. So. In between. We don't have that one either, Terambune. They have a ton of two-player games, though. A ton. Literal ton. Battle of Five Armies. Oh yeah, that's another one. Lost Cities, Patchwork, Raptor, Jaipur, Kahuna. Kahuna. I mean, just to name a few. <laughs> Let's do a building. Cause, yeah, buildings. And let's build the saddlery. Two of these. Three of these pelt thingies. So per horse I can cut. Well, I'm not doing that, but I am raising my fleshing beams by one. Blech. Go ahead. I need to butcher some of these animals. I have too many of them. 
I'm gonna get messed up on these cows. What else are cows good for? You're doing all right on animals, jeez. Way better than I I am. got too many. True. I can't get any more horses. True. So what are you going to do about it? Well, the only place you can get rid of animals is... Slaughterhouse! I could send some animals to... Oh, there you go. Lear. In between, it's a two-player. I don't know what in between is. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, I you don't want to do this. You played Kahuna, but I haven't played Kahuna. Even though I, I own it. Jamaica too. I don't know. The food. Mm -hmm. How can I spend this food? I have too much food. Too much food. Buy a building. Buy uh, one of these. You're pretty close to getting that. I don't have enough. This. Just need one more. I can't get that. That's how this game works. I can't get any of the timber. You can. How? What'd you get at the grocer? The horse. Oh. You shouldn't have gotten the horse. <laughs> Could have got way more points getting one of these. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess that's too late to take that back. Um. Why didn't you tell me that at the time? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can't, con you're a little late on the conversion of it. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to go to Lear. I'll spend uh, a cow. Mm-hmm. That's for five food. And then I'll pay one of these for two more food. Yeah, like that. Would Travis play the pizza game? I don't know. Play some Clans of Caledonia. That one rubbed me the wrong way. What did you think of that? <laughs> I don't you remember anything about that game. Can you explain to me what happened? I did it? not like the way that game ends. It's such a random... I don't remember anything about it. Ending. How does it even go? It's a map, remember. and you're doing... Yeah, it's Farming Terra Mystica. That's pretty close. I don't remember that at all. I'll go to the farmer. Oh, why don't you give me some advice? Where should I go to get points? Um. Well. I could get a building. Oh, I can't afford any of these buildings. Oh, I can afford... That building, the joinery, but I don't have any points. of those things. Well, you won't get stuff. You'll get six points, but will it be worth it? Because you're giving up five bags of food, which currently is worth two points. Well, I can get one of these. Well, they're not the worth gym. nearly as much. No, they're not. They're junky. But they give you stuff. I don't know if you need any of that stuff, but there you go. I mean, fish traps plus two would get you three points. Um, it would? Yeah. Oh. Or okay. each of these woods are two if you turn your fields. Hmm? Each of these woods are worth two and it turns your fields into woods. Hmm. Huh. That's how that works. One, two, three, seven. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I can only do it twice. Two, four, seven, five, five, six, seven. Max it out. Four plus three is seven. Seven or seven? Hey. Seven points versus what? Seven points. No, versus what are your other choices out here? Oh, John. Not a lot. I don't care. I'm just going here. I'm going <laughs> to lose. Uh, I'm going to come to do the sluice yard. Pay some stuff. One of these and one, one of these. Mm hmm. And nine food. Bringing me down to five. Fish trap plus two. And then per fish trap, I get a wood. So I get six wood. Uh. 
right. Mm. Martha is really within reach. All right. Let's do a uh, let's do a warden and flip this sucker over. Oh, you know what? I mean, it's the same point yield, more customization. Look over this. Not that it'll be a problem either way, but let's go ahead and start shipping off some stuff. So, for this guy, I think I want seven food. Let's go and put this in this thing. Seven food for what? Some leather clothes. Seems good. Yeah. Seven food. From zero to seven. For this guy, or before we do that, let's go up here for a field. Let's turn in the flax field for one food. Seems like I just want the distance that it gives me. So I'm actually going to turn in this one just for two food. One, two for the flax. I'm going to turn in a flax for that. Not there. Here. And for the final one, which will yield me I want the full 14. I, I don't even remember the game, to be blunt, honest with you, Blood Bowler. I'd have to look it up. We're going to turn in the two animals and the timber. Timber, two animals. Let's go with a horse and a sheep. Because I'm going to be really hurting for the animal turn in. So that's 14 food there. So that'll be 5. I can actually only get 11. So, there we go. Filled up those wagons. The last time we played this was March 4th, 2016. Okay. Not bad. Three, Three years. years ago. What was the score? I don't keep, I don't, uh, I don't keep, I don't keep scores. But maybe I did. Let's see. That way we can compare. You won, so you probably did. You usually track when you win. That's true, I do. Um, I track when I remember to track. Uh, let's see where I'm going to put this thing. I did not track that game. I tracked Melissa and I playing twice. Oh. My best score was 102. Hmm. Okay. I know it was a thrashing, I can tell you that. Uh, 92.5 is my first score. And my next score was 102. All right. Keep all the scores. I'll go to the master. So I can advance four of my things. Get those Let's points. Do one for the oven. Uh, one for the pottery wheel. One for the slaughtering table and the weaving looms. <laughs> 13 minutes, it's 4 a.m. No, it's only going to be 9 p.m. Go ahead. Over to me. We got one action left and then we're done. Yeah, then it's all over. Just scoring. Yep. We can actually finish the thing before they before we do the scoring if they want. Yeah, for sure. I think Jesse J is hanging just so he can. Oh, you're just hanging minutes. out for that? Well, let's go ahead and do. That. Well, I'll take my turn first. Go ahead. Last minute tickets. Yeah, if last you want in on tickets. tickets, get in. Now's your Now's last chance. Now's the time. I will not be anywhere close to 100. I will be close to 20. I just want points. So <laughs> where am I going to get points? I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to go to the master because. Oh, I see one place where I get two points. Well, that's worth it to me, I guess. How much are you going to have to spend to get them? Just one clay. That's better than my alternative would be like buying a peat boat for one wood. That'd be one. Um, or. Oh, no, I oh, just can't oh, sleep. I it's all good, he said. 
two victory points for each animal type. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to the cattle trader. That could be worth it. So, I'll get a sheep. I'll get a cow. Now I'll get two bags of wheat. Wheat. Now, giveaway time. All right. All right. So giveaway time. Here we go. While Ronald takes his turn. Draw winner. Jesse J with a 98% chance to win. Wow. You get a copy of a game. Listed there, Splendor, Cult Express, or Avalon, digital version. You just let me know on the Discord which one you're interested in, and I'll send that over to you. It's going to be a Steam code, so you just put that in. And how does he decide that. which one he gets? He gets to ask. He gets to yeah, tell you. yeah. Just tell me what you want in the Discord, and we will send that your way. Congrats! Hey, yay, Jesse J. Jesse J. Welcome to. AG money! Money ice! Okay, well I was thinking about getting a vehicle, but then I'd have to pay my two sh my two horses, and that would defeat the point that I got all these horses, these dumb horses. Fair. It's not really worth it, Unless is you it? get one of these. <laughs> Never one of them. No, it's, not. it's not big enough to fit any of that stuff on. Um, you can imitate and do, I don't know. I, mean, I don't need you to can imitate and get another or... horse from the cattle trader. <laughs> That'd be what, two I can't points? annotate your action on this side. Oh, okay. Well, mm, yeah, you're in trouble, I guess, there. I don't need to imitate. <laughs> that doesn't really help horses. me. Yeah, they're very smart horses. They're doing I'll a great just job. go they just have the a weaver dumb again. Master. We were playing. This three. is our third game to play today. We started off with. One, two, three. Haven. Haven. Red Raven Games. And then we went on to Bubbly Pop from Quick Simple Fun Games. And now Fields of Arl from Z-Man Games. By UA Rosenberg. And we are on month, or half year nine yep, out of the nine. the last one. So now so we need to do our inventorying. So if you need to put anything in your in your Quick Simple cart. Fun. Well, that'd be funny if like Fields of Arl got picked up by Quick Simple Fun Games. If you want to fill up your vehicle, oh, your vehicles are already full. They are. So empty your vehicles. Oh, look, we got a mix. I got some red houses, some yellow houses. <laughs> Bit of all houses. We'll put them back in the right way. Receive <coughs> food from your cattle and your sheep. Mm -hmm. How many sheep do you have? Three. No, I see another one. Four. I forgot about this guy. So that's uh, one food. Campaign <laughs> from Northern Africa. Yeah. Somebody actually wanted to play that game. I was like, no. Nah. One food? Yeah. Your food's already maxed out. You get nothing. Okay, so from my sheep, sheep. I have five, Spent so one. I get two food. And then for the cows, I have five, so I get three food for that. Mm. Next, harvest your forests and your fields. One of these, one of those. One, two. Pay three food and two peat. Three food. One, two, three. three. An alternative to peat is wood. Yep. Or timber. Or timber. Well, I guess I'm getting and timber. And so we, what if I didn't have that? Then you'd have to lose two victory points for everything you didn't have. Oh, my God. That would have been bad. But good thing I had it. I had to lose half a point. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, this game? Yeah, it's basically Agricola... But now, two players. You can adjust your food tracks to make it like to maximize it to where you get the most sure, points. Sure, lower yours by one to make it all the way to the top. Yeah, but mine's maxed already. So if I go one, two, three, and go one, two, three, it's still three points. Six of the six of one. There's no way for me to get more than three. Right. Okay. So now we're ready to start adding <laughs> up our final scores. Gonna add this to the the paperboard. 
Ronald and Jesse. Mm -hmm. Okay, clothing tiles and building materials. Oh, gee, money, you also missed a giveaway. We gave away Bubbly Pop, and we also did a digital giveaway, just like right now. But next giveaway is on March 30th. We're doing a uh, con stream. We're streaming from a convention, and we'll be giving away some stuff there. Did that Five, just blink? 10, <laughs> 11, 12 and a half. Did. How much was yours? What are we talking about? Uh, clothing tiles and building materials. <laughs> two and a half. Oh, wait, building materials. Yeah, two and a half clothing. What'd you get? Twelve and a half. Oh, wow. Equipment in the barn. I have uh, two. Barn. Oh, up there. Mm, um, you have eight. I have eight, yep. Travel experience. I have five. <laughs> we gotta have a copy of uh, New York Slice. And you somehow together. managed to max it out. Ten. We don't travel to Gen Con just yet. I don't know if I ever watched I don't, too yeah, many people from exactly. that. <laughs> Maybe uh, the other one, Origins, might okay. be more up our alley. Okay. Tools. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen, eighteen. So I have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Goods track. Oh, that's this. Goods One, track. Two, three, four, five, six. Six as well. Victory points on your home board. So I have one, two, three, four, five, plus 10 is 15. 35, 45, 46, 47. 47? In buildings, yeah. But minus one for this? Yes. So, 46. Oh, I get some stuff at the end of the thing. I forgot to do this. That moves up. <laughs> None of the rest of this is going to count. Oh, this is going to count. No. None of the rest of this. All right, Jesse. Oh, I can advance this. Can I advance something... Bye. This one for two more points. Two more, yeah. Squeeze out those points. It's not gonna matter. It might. Okay, animals. So you're getting two victory points for whatever animal you have the fewest of. I have the fewest cows and or horses. Which will be two points a piece for him. That's I don't know how it works when it's tied. Well, I mean, they're both first and second, so it's no difference, really. India is drivable for me, so that's the only con I attend. The crowds are pretty big, huh? <laughs> I just go for the Murph's game night. Oh, you don't set foot in the con itself. That's wise. I've seen footage. I don't want to be caught in that. Oh, when come on next stream. Oh, okay. Challenge. So like this is like. Okay. <laughs> he wins. He wins just fine. He so won. you're getting four points for these, mm -hmm. and you're getting two, two points. points for those. Yeah. So you're getting six points. Correct. Okay, I'm getting two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That was a lot of work for not a lot of points. Mm-hmm. Those animals. Yeah, because I get nothing for all of these uh, cows. Well, actually, I have the same number of cows as I do sheep, so I could have kept This is our last game of the night, so we'll be going yep. offline soon. This is, we're almost <laughs> done. Uh, okay, supply bottlenecks. Nothing there for either of us. So now I just need to add it all up. Oh. Got your calculator right there? I in your app? Oh, in the app? Yeah, I guess I could. I'm going to do here. What you got? Okay, uh, 14 and a half. 14 and a half. 25. 25. 30. Uh, 21. 21. And 11. 11 equals 71.5. Okay, that's me. Next, 10 and a half. 10 and a half. 29. 29. 12. 12. 46. 46. 
Okay, so that means Jesse wins with 97 and a half points, and Yay. I come in a really good second place. 71 and a half. 71 and a half. There you go. That's Fields of Arl. That's three for Jesse today and zero for me. Is that really? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. I am on a roll, people. <laughs> Photo time. There you go. Oh, I should get a final picture. Yeah, you probably should. You guys can follow me on Instagram if you want to. <laughs> it's um, Ronald Hart's Board Games. Ronald Hart's Board Games. That's right. So, that was two-player day. It was. Who won Arcane players? Academy last night? Oh, you did. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was y'all's first play. Okay, so that's uh, four in a row for me. <laughs> yes. Four, oh, losing? But you mm. won uh, the Hydra game. Yeah, only four in a row. Yeah. So, see, so you won a game yesterday, and what was our first game we played? Oh, we did an escape. We did the exit the game. We did the island one. So pretty good. Long, but good. See, you won a game. You won Hell Hydra. As Hydra. I also won down, Downforce. That's right. He I won, won Hell Hydra both times we played. So. That's true, because the Hydra didn't win the first game, did they? No, they wouldn't. No, Jerry and Joe lost the first game. That's right. And then me and Cheryl won the second game. No, that I won't. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be back on... Well, he'll tell you his schedule. While I look for somebody. <laughs> yeah, so we're always here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. This uh, coming up, we have on Monday, Karuba. Playing board games. Karuba, which is a cool route building game. On Wednesday, we will be playing Dragonwood. And one week from today, we will, it's not on our schedule yet, but you guys get to know about it because you're here. Heaven and Ale. And I will be releasing the new schedule for March on our Discord coming up soon. There is a new chat area for me to put that kind of stuff in so you guys can check it out there. Um, and you'll be able to see everything we're playing for the month of March. Um, lots of fun stuff coming up. Uh, it's really exciting, actually. So, um... Ale will be provided during Heaven and Ale. <laughs> yes. And we'll be back with four players coming up for our streams coming up, or at least three. Yep. Um, we do have a two-player game planned for... two-player day planned for later on in the month of March. And we hope that you'll join us uh, on March 30th when we do our live stream from the Southern Board Game Fest in yep. Lafayette, Louisiana. As for now, we love to spread the board game love to other content creators here on Twitch. So we hope you'll follow along to... We're going to Playing Board Games. Playing Board Games. As you can see in the chat above. Spam those meeple emotes into yep. their thing and let them know where we came, where you came from. And let them know that we support them, just like you guys support us. Yep. And that's and it for we'll today. we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.